Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today again a cool video guys, with amazing Bitcoin charts, three beautiful charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice and yes of course also talking about some news guys. Let's quickly jump into the charting part because you want to know what Bitcoin is going to do. Are we going to go up and break 30k? Bam. The first chart of today, guys, yes, not zooming in today, only zooming out. This is the Bitcoin halving chart. The first halving, the Bitcoin price was only $12. I wish I would was there buying it. At that moment, I started mining a year later in 2013, all the way when Bitcoin was $80. Then the second halving, that was $648. US dollar. That was in 2016. That was just before we went all in in 2017, around 900 US dollar. Now the third halving, the one that you probably remember now, it was at 8,572. That was in 2020. Now the question is, how high will the fourth halving be in April 2024? From 2016 to 2020, we went times 14 somewhere. So if we would only go times five now we would be somewhere around 40k so i believe that the fourth halving we will be between 30 and 50k so let's break it in the middle i believe that the halving will be around 40k and then it will be in line with all these numbers that you already see in the chart because then we went from 12 dollar to 648 dollar times 14 to 8500 dollars times five only to 40,000 US dollars. So in April 2024, I believe we will be around 40K, which makes it very beautiful to step into Bitcoin today because it's only costing you around 28,000 US dollar today. That's a big profit over there. Next chart. This chart is telling you, it's a very bullish scenario, that there is always fractals in Bitcoins that people analyze. And I found this one on Twitter. I like this flag fractal because I always compare 2015-16 to the current situation. And on this chart, you can see on the right side, that was the 2015-16 run after we made that W bottom. And at the moment on the left side, you can see we are creating the same type of bottom. Two purple circles through green bottoms, slowly going up again and now preparing to that massive bull run that will lead all the way into 2025. So these charts are looking a little bit strange because they are like very compact. So it looks like, oh, it's a huge pump. But look to the bottom and you will see that it will take all the way into 2025. So you need to stretch these charts out, but to get them together on one page, uh, it's looking a little bit different now, guys. But beautiful fractal found um, on the charts. Now, then we have this chart, a very important chart. This chart is showing you the amount of uh, Bitcoins that were bought at the different prices. We can see that between 25 and 30k, a shitload of Bitcoins was bought. All of the huge companies, MicroStrategy, Grayscale, even Tesla, Elon Musk, all of these guys were buying Bitcoin between 25 and 30k. That's why these bars and those levels, 25 to 30K, are that huge. So this is a very strong area of support now, between 25 and 30K. So if you're still waiting for us to drop to 20K or 12K or 18K or 15K, what other influencers might tell you, you're gonna be fucked. You're gonna be fucked really hard because we are not going to go there. Look that massive amount of support over there. Even the rich people are buying Bitcoin at these levels now. All the rich billionaires are buying Bitcoin at these levels. They are buying from the weak hands. You should have the mindset of that billionaire when it comes to investing. Buy Bitcoin now. When everybody is doubtful, when there is not many people searching for Bitcoin, when there is not many news about Bitcoin, when there is the blood on the streets because people think that Bitcoin crashed massively, that is the moment you should be buying Bitcoin. Together with me. Now, next chart. This chart is a very cool one. You need to pause the video to analyze it for yourself. 
But this chart is, is showing you a base model that they believe it always works out. The base model is on the right bottom. You can see phase one, we are above that black line. Phase two, we are below the black line, but we are going to work up to the black line again um, during the bull run. Now, we see those phases every four year bull cycle. Look at 2012 one, beautifully how we did it. And we always go to these levels in Fibonacci and they are uh, decreasing those levels. You can see that the first two bull markets, we went to the level of 2.272. Even the 2017 one still went to the 2.272 level in Fibonacci. Now the 2021 uh, level was 1.618 Fibonacci. You can see the red squares, they are giving you the indication of where the Fibonacci was. So also there, if we draw that black line, we had the first phase and the second phase. Now, if we do that now again, the first phase and the second phase from the bottom with that black line, up to the Fibonacci level of 1.414, yes, even lower than the previous one, 1 1.6, we would reach at a Bitcoin price between 100 and 130,000 US dollar. Let that be exactly the target that I've been sharing with you all the time. And if you look very close to the chart, let's begin completely at the left. You see the degree of the angle that the black line was drawn. 77 was the first one. 59 was the second one. 49 was the third one. 37 was the fourth one. And now 27, the prediction of this one. So decreasing the angle by 10 every time. 59 minus 10, 49 minus 10, 37 minus 10, 27. So all of these indications are showing us Fibonacci levels, the decreasing of the growth angle, that we could reach a level between 100 and 130K. And that is why I've been telling you guys, you need to start selling at 70K, 80K, 90K, 100K, 110, dollar cost average out. There is no model that is always right, guys, but this model, at least, is also near my prediction. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. And again, yes, these charts are showing you the bigger time frame because I don't want to freak out about the short time frame. I don't want to freak about a 15-minute chart or a 5-minute chart or a 10-minute chart. I want to zoom out and look at the bigger picture of Bitcoin and understand the four-year cycle, the halving happening in April 2024, and the cycle being then in the phase that Bitcoin will pump up to a new all-time high, above 70k. That is what you should be focusing on. You should be buying Bitcoin now and exchanging Bitcoins into stablecoins somewhere around the top. Okay? Now, that were the charts for today. Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is very simple. The trend is your friend. You always follow the trend. You don't bet against the trend because that will mostly, mostly, I'm saying, lead to losses. So if you follow the trend, you have a bigger chance of winning your trades than if you go against the trend. Yes, there always will be a reversal moment, but don't try to guess or gamble on when that reversal moment is. Just keep following the trend. And then when it reverses, let's say we are going in an uptrend, long, 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 and then the bar, and then the price starts to dip, that's the reversal. We will always come up again to retest that trend line. And if we then fall down, that is the confirmation of the reversal of that trend. And that is the moment you should go the other side. That is the moment you should start to short the trend. So the trend is your friend. That was the trading tip for the day. And by now I arrived at a place somewhere here on the beach they are doing some kind of a festival or something so i'm going to film a little bit so you can see what it is it looks really interesting a lot of yellow and white so i'm going to check this and um, so i'm going to skip the news for today the news is going to be replaced by this beautiful event over here because i didn't know it was here so yeah that is the news of the day beautiful type event Bam.
don't know if you can see it guys, but they're all nodding no, they're all nodding all the time. Their head is going no, 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 no. You see this? Some kind of ritual. So, all the heads are nodding. I need to ask what it is. It's very beautiful. Like a parade going on now there. I hope you enjoyed the, the news for today. So there was uh, some kind of event. I tried to ask what it was. Uh, they, they don't speak English at all. So these guys didn't speak English. I think it's something religious. Um, of course, they were doing something with something out of a temple, I, I, I believe. But I don't understand why they were doing like this all the time. Um, some kind of event here in Thailand that I don't know what it is. Maybe one of you guys knows what it is. I hope you enjoyed uh, the images. If you do know what kind of event that was, then please do let me know. Educate me now, please. I need to understand what this is. Uh, I didn't want to disturb too many people. I asked five people. They, they all didn't speak English. I don't want to disturb all of them during their event, guys, uh, whatever it is. So if you know what it is, then please let me know down below. And yes, of course, this kind of stuff you can only see on the Bitcoin Family Channel. Two travel tips today, guys. The first travel tip is make sure while you're boarding, you're the first of your boarding group, one of the first of your boarding group, because then your hand luggage will surely fit in the overhead bins. You know the situation that if you bought last of your group, then the hand luggage might not fit in the overhead bins, and then uh, the stewards will take your hand luggage and put it down below in the luggage space, guys. And that makes you wait again for your luggage when you are arriving at the airport. So always try to be first of your boarding group so your luggage fits in your overhead bin. The second travel tip, of course, is because of that beautiful thing that I just witnessed over here. Whenever you walk somewhere and you see such a beautiful event, go there, enjoy it. Ask the people what it's about. Or even, if it's not religious, try to participate. You know, I think this was a religious one, so I couldn't participate. I don't want to like be offending people. They were all dressed in white. I'm dressed in black, Bob Marley. <laughs> so, uh, but when you travel and you see things like this happen, step off your scooter bike, pause the bike, go there and experience what they are experiencing. These are the beautiful differences in cultures you will not see in Europe. You will only see this, for example, here in Thailand. So why would I be walking the beach and not spending any time to watch that? Don't be afraid to go there. They won't bite you. They won't be like, ah, oh, you cannot film this. Ah, oh, you cannot be it. They probably will feel proud that some foreigner comes and looks at what they are building and they are doing over there. So always try to participate in the events that are happening when you travel. That were the two travel tips for today. The live advice for today, guys, is a very cool quote. The elevator to success is broken. You need to take the stairs step by step. And that's very important to understand in life. There is no high speed elevator to the top. You always climb the stairs step by step. And sometimes these stairs are really steep and it will take you a long time to climb those steps. But in the end, there is always the goal that you want to achieve. And you need to be passionate about that goal that you want to be achieved then you're willing to climb the steps even if they are steepest way possible guys so let that be a very important lesson to you success is not born like bam or dropping out of heaven it's a steep climb on steps step by step all the way up to the goal that you want to reach elevator to success is not even broken it doesn't exist please take the stairs step by step and you will reach all of your goals. That was the live advice for today. I will turn around guys for uh, the question of the follower. Bam! Against the sun now. Now my face is beautifully lighted by the sun. <laughs> um, so the question of a follower was yesterday. 
Didi, are there still non-KYC debit cards? And if not, which debit cards do you trust most? So, Stephanie, I think, was the woman that asked the question. That there is no non-KYC debit cards anymore. It's very difficult to get a non-KYC debit card. A year or two ago, there were still a few, but um, they are gone. It's not non-KYC anymore that I know of. Now it's all regulated KYC debit cards. If you ask me which one I trusted most, I, of course, would always use, for example, Crypto.com, which is a really good one. I'm using, for example, Bitsa from Spain, from the company Bitnovo, really good one. I have been using Wirex, but one of my daughters now is also using Wirex, also a really good one. And the one that I like the most at the moment is Bybit's one. Bybit has this beautiful debit card tied to your Bybit account. So all the assets that you're trading or saving or staking, you can use all of those assets to spend with your Bybit debit card all over the world where MasterCard is accepted. So for me, the Bybit card at the moment is the best one out there because I can do all the stuff that I need to do on one platform. I can be trading, I can be buying crypto, I can participate in all these cool stuff like we have now the lucky draw for you guys. And I can use a debit card, use all the funds that are in my funding account in my bit and spend it all over the world. So it automatically converts, for example, Bitcoin into Thai baht, or Bitcoin into euros, or Bitcoin into Indonesia rupiah. It doesn't matter, I just use the card, the exchange is done automatically. You can even set the card to USDT. So you make sure you have always a little bit USDT in your wallet. So put USDT in your funding account and then just use the card and pay everywhere with USDT. So you don't need a bank anymore. Bybit could be your new bank. And now your answer is, yeah, but do you trust Bybit more than the banks? Yes, I do. I don't trust the banks anymore, guys. What? The security of 100K? My capital is a little bit bigger. I need a little bit more security than 100K. So I'll trust my capital all the way to Bitcoin. And if I use spending capital, that will be in Bible. Now that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video and you are not distracted again, then please give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about all the charts? What do you think about all the other stuff? What do you think again about the coincidence of again a beautiful woman in the end of my video. Thanks for watching, I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam!